But right now I'm shouting out for the Lund Resource Center and the Lund Gathering. Uh, you're, you've done very well. We have. In a little over a year, we have, uh, we're now having 49 agencies that participate in Lund Gatherings, Lund uh, training courses. It is fantastic. And we continue to expand the offerings. Um, our next leadership gathering, which happen about every eight weeks at the mm -hmm. First Reformed mm -hmm. Church, uh, always between 1 and or 1.30 and 3 o'clock, will be an, a 90-minute course on Marketing 101. Because, marketing 101. Boy, yep. don't we need that. And this is actually going to be part one of a two-part series on marketing. Part one will be a no-charge course, and we'll be talking about understanding who you are so that you're able to brand yourself and get your message out there. Uh, it will be led by Fred Daniels of Daniels Marketing, who is a dynamic leader. Um, he's worth seeing whether you're needing marketing help or not, but I don't know Everybody the nonprofit. Everybody needs a little bit, yeah. We, we certainly do, and he, and he always is very creative and has lots of new ways to share. And they're doing a lot of social marketing, too. Or, you Absolutely. Know, yeah, that, which seems to be really, uh, and I always am amazed when I see there's a guy that comes on TV and says, if you want to get your message on Facebook, uh, you only pay me so much, and I'm going... <laughs> what? Right. That's right. That's right. So the, I'm sure social media will be a piece of our marketing course. Yeah. Uh, we'll be focusing more on that in the June yeah, 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 leadership yeah. gathering. Um, we also have an exciting thing happening in May. We're going to be doing a new thing. Wednesday evenings in May, we'll be offering a 90-minute course on board development, board training, board oh. leadership. Oh, and this how is important a, that it, is. It is. This is something I hear time and time again from Everybody the nonprofits. Everybody is, I mean, the first place is to get good board members. Right. And that's Which, not an easy thing. It is not an easy thing. And, and the idea that you have people that say, oh, I want to be on the board, and yet, but they don't, don't understand that, that you need talent, treasure, time, sure. something that, that supports the organization. Even those who are putting together the board don't always understand what to look for in a board member, yeah. uh, how to find diverse talents from, from different sectors of the community exactly. so that different voices are represented. It, um, exactly, so. and, and that's very difficult because sometimes you're, struggling to find a board member when you need to have so many. That's right. And they aren't, the quality isn't, I don't want to say the quality, the, usually the, the intent is there. That's right. People usually are passionate, but they don't always have the skill set that is needed to make a board really do the work that it needs to do. And so this is going to be when? This will be Wednesday evenings in May. Okay. Um, the main presenter will be Reverend Bill Levering from First Reformed Church, who really knows his stuff he and does. he'll be inviting along a co-presenter for each Wednesday evening on each particular topic mm -hmm. uh, so stay tuned and uh, check our website and give me a call and I can let you know who those presenters are okay. and how do people get a hold of you to uh, get the to find out about your gatherings and I know that the gatherings are free and you do those on Thursday is that it yes we do those okay. about every eighth Thursday okay. uh, and then we're, we're as I say we're doing a lot of new things we just had a, a focus group on strategic planning um, we're going to be hosting a session for fostering futures which is a, a group that supports foster parents in the area um, so there is a lot going on. I suggest people either email me or give me a call, and I know that those that information is on the screen. Um, I would love to come and meet with you, hear more about your nonprofit. And I also, I would like to say, it, this isn't just about nonprofits. Lund Resource Center is is designed to help the nonprofits, but I'm also working with businesses in the community and community members because working all together means everybody is more well, successful. Well, and when you look at, like, we had Mazone on early, and here he yeah. is a business, and yet he works with the nonprofit exactly. to help. And I think if you can make those connections with businesses to support nonprofits, it's a win-win situation for everybody. It really is. I, I always say we're better together, and that that goes for businesses, it goes for the nonprofits, and it goes for the people that are supported both by the businesses and the nonprofits. And how many people do you have coming to these gatherings? The gatherings can range anywhere from 25 to 40 people at a time. Um, I 
I know so that I'm they're sure successful. That they're sharing in, within they them. are. We end at three. I'm usually sort of moving people along at four o'clock because it's time to close the venue. <laughs> so you know things are going well. People are starting to work together so well. They're getting together to share documents and uh, they're getting together just to share fundraising ideas and, and resources and, and even put together uh, different events because they have similar they missions. They could do that too, with similar mission. The other thing I would imagine is happening is that if you and I are doing exactly the same thing as part of what we do, mm -hmm. that maybe we might say, well, let's shift a little bit. I'll take a little bit more of this and you take this and then we can concentrate better. Absolutely, because yeah. every nonprofit is working with limited resources, both human resources and material resources. And so if we can share them, everybody gets that, yeah. that bigger and it's boost. It's very difficult now. Of course, they're looking for more support. The city is looking for support from the nonprofits, which it makes sense because they're getting the the police and the fire, it and is they're true. getting and all of the services, and yet are not supporting it. But on the other hand, this poor, you know, nonprofits don't have the money. That's, but but, but it's we all be able have to something. Together. I met yeah. with Gary McCarthy recently, right. and he he said, "Good job. I'm hearing good things about the Lund Resource Center. Yeah. So yay, we were really happy about that." Yeah. Um, and. I'm, I'm just happy to work with everybody, yeah. um, and, and we, need to, we just need to all know what's going on in our community for Would us. Would you say working together is working? Uh, I say we're better together. We're better we're together. We're better no, together. I like that. It, it's so true. It is, it is. And it makes our jobs more fun besides. Everybody really, really appreciates the networking and being able to say, oh, what do you do when this happens? Yeah, and how did you handle that? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's nice to have the support of other people who are doing similar work. Right. And uh, Lynn is definitely making it better together, aren't you? Thank you. you. Good, good. <laughs> and we'll see you again because you keep doing this, and that's wonderful. Great. Uh, we're going to take just a quick break, uh, and when we come back, uh, we'll be looking at the uh, the YWCA, which was is an or, an organization that certainly works very tirelessly in our community to try and help. Absolutely. Uh, do, do, do they join in on something like Abs that? Oh, they always do. In fact, we do a lot of printing for them, and that, that's a privilege to be able to kind of find find out what they're doing all the time. Oh, good, yeah. good. You get your shoes there. That's right. Collecting shoes there.